Hi, Pastor Jerry here from Crossroads Church of Cleburne. It is time for At the Crossroads, our daily devotional. Uh, today's devotional comes from Matthew 17, and it comes from verses 9 through 13. Jesus had been on the mountain, Mount Hermon, and what we call the Mount of Transfiguration, because that's where he was transfigured. That's where we saw a glimpse of him in his kingdom, uh, as the king of his kingdom. And it said that his face had shone like the sun and he was as bright. Uh, he was just pure bright. And he's coming down after that from the mountain with three of his apostles. He's coming down with Peter, James, and John. And he tells them in verse 9, he says, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. Why does he tell them this? Uh, is because they were ready for the for the kingdom to be here they were ready for god's kingdom to come to earth and for jesus to be their king he was already their lord and their savior but they want him to be the king too it was not that time see they were focused on the kingdom but jesus was coming for redemption he was coming to redeem the world or all that would receive him back to to himself and receive the the sacrifice of himself on the cross so he said don't tell anybody this until the son of man is raised from the dead see he was focused on the redemption that he was going to be persecuted he tells him a little bit later that he's going to suffer that he's going to die but he on the third day he's going to raise again he's going to be raised again and not to tell anyone about the glory his glory until that time so we are past that time now we are past the time where he had died where he redeemed the world where he redeemed us and so we can proclaim we don't have to wait we can proclaim the glory of god we can proclaim the glory of jesus christ to everyone we call that the gospel we can proclaim the gospel or the good news of jesus christ to anyone who will listen we can do it through our words we can do it through the way that we treat others we can do it through our actions and through our approach to life and the best way to do it is for us to grow in relationship with him first grow in relationship with him each and every day each moment of each every day and then share that relationship with others it'll change the world it will change people's lives and it will change your life so i pray that this encourages you to today remember that you are loved by uh, everlasting father remember that i love you and i'm praying for you each and every day and may god bless you and keep you until we're at the crossroads again <laughs>